Hi there, it's February 19th and time for Proverbs 19. I feel like being here today, I don't like you. I'm not really here, but I'd like to be. So, let's jump over here and we'll get into it. It is better to be poor but honest than to be a lying fool. <laughs> What's that say over here in the word for word? Better is a poor person who walks in his integrity than a person who is perverse in speech and is a fool. Lips. Yeah. It is better to be poor and honest. Hmm. Two. Enthusiasm without knowledge is not good. Impatience will get you into trouble. Boy, that's a... Now, I must admit, I am an impatient person. <laughs> okay? And you, <laughs> you pray for patience and God says, wait. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hold on, I'll give it to you. Enthusiasm without knowledge. Let's just highlight that whole thing. A lot of people start businesses without doing the research and they're eager to like, get at it and pretty soon they're broke. Yeah. Sometimes even if you do all the research, you still end up, you know, broke. So Okay, verse three. Some people ruin themselves by their own stupid actions and then blame the Lord. <laughs> His heart rages against the Lord. How do you like that? Ruin themselves by their own stupid actions. <laughs> and then blame God for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Four. Rich people are always finding new friends, but the poor cannot keep the few that they have. Yeah. Why do you think that is? I don't know. Because they're rich, right? Five, if you tell lies in court, you will be punished. There will be no escape. <laughs> Eventually, right? <clears throat> Seems like there's a lot of that going on now. And, and instead of getting punished, they're getting rewarded. But eventually it'll all come out. Everyone tries to gain the favor of important people. Everyone claims the friendship of those who give out favors. Right. Everyone? Huh. I met so-and-so once and he gave me a dollar. Okay. Even the relatives of a poor person have no use for him. No wonder he has no friends. No matter how hard he tries, he cannot win any. Wow. <laughs> That's rough, huh? Rough but true. A lot of, you know, a lot of these homeless people that are out there have families right, that have no use for him. Okay? No matter how hard he tries. What's that say over here? All the brothers of a poor person hate him. How much more do his friends abandon him? Right. <clears throat> yeah, that's sad but true. Number eight. Do yourself a favor and learn all you can. Then remember what you learned and you will prosper. There you go. That's a good one right there. Learn all you can. And then remember what you learned. Like that. So you won't have to learn it again. And you will prosper. It's that simple. Number nine. No one who tells lies in court can escape punishment. He is doomed. Huh? A lot of that today, huh? Yeah. See, there's five. I will make these the same color just so we can. Doomed. I won't mention names, but yeah, there's some. Somebody who accused somebody else of something they didn't do, and uh, and because the courts are crooked now, they awarded this person all this money for something that never happened. And it's saying they can't escape punishment. Okay. Number ten, 
Fools should not live in luxury, and slaves should not rule over noblemen. Hmm. Well, they never live in luxury for long, do they? It's people that win the lottery and buy all this stuff, and a year later they're broke. Yeah. Over 90% of them are like that. <laughs> Boy, here's a tough one. 11. If you are sensible, you will control your temper. When someone wrongs you, it is a great virtue to ignore it. Yeah. Control your temper. That's hard. I'm going to do a study on tempers one of these days because I tend to have a a bit of a temper on the introverted side and that you just, you know, things don't go right and you lash out at inanimate objects, never at people. But and that's something you need to learn to control, huh? We'll just study on that. <clears throat> Twelve. The king's anger is like the roar of a lion, but his favor is like welcome rain. Right. We don't have kings, but... Thirteen. <laughs> Stupid children can bring their parents to ruin. A nagging wife is like water going drip, drip, drip. Mm -hmm. A foolish son is destructive to his father, and the quarrels of a wife are a constant dipping. Okay. <laughs> a man can inherit money and house from his parents, but only the Lord can give him a sensible wife. <laughs> right. If you got a sensible wife, thank the Lord for that. Right. <laughs> Fifteen. Go ahead and be lazy. Sleep on, but you will go hungry. <laughs> yeah, laziness casts one into a deep sleep, and a lazy person will suffer hunger. Yeah. Go ahead, be lazy, but you're gonna be hungry. <laughs> I like that. Keep God's laws, and you'll live longer. <laughs> if you ignore them, you will die. Yeah, okay. time. We're going over all of God's laws in the through the Bible in one year, and some of them are wow. Seventeen, when you give to the poor, it's like lending to the Lord, and the Lord will pay you back. This is very important, okay? Jesus said, what you do to the least of these, you have done to me, okay? And if you give to the Lord, the Lord will pay you back, because you gave to the Lord, and he'll pay you back with interest every single time, okay? Every single time. 18, and this is important too. Discipline your children while they are young enough to learn. If you don't, you are helping them to destroy themselves. Okay? Or you are killing them. Discipline your son while there is hope and do not desire his death. Yes, it's important to get to your children from zero to eight years old is when they learn all of their habits, all of their self-esteem, all of their um, respect, that's when they learn it. And if you wait, you're going to have these kids that are stupid that are out there, you know, robbing stores and looting places and gluing their hands to the street and just doing stupid stuff, following anybody else that'll, that they think will teach them something. You can't stress on that enough. Hmm? 19. If someone has a hot temper, let him take the consequences. <laughs> if you get him out of trouble once, you will have to do it again. Right. Sometimes you got to let your buddy be punched in the mouth because he won't shut up, right? If you get him out of trouble, he'll just do it again. Right. <laughs> We're not going to highlight that. 20. If you listen to advice and are willing to learn, one day you will be wise. There you go. That's what we're all doing. That's what we're all searching for. <clears throat> to be wise one day. People may plan all kinds of things, but the Lord's will is going to be done. <laughs> you got that? The Lord's will is going to be done. No matter what. Okay. It is a disgrace to be greedy. Poor people are better off than liars. Hmm. 
says over here what it's what is desirable in a person is his kindness or loyalty and it is better to be a poor person than a liar hmm. Hmm. what does this one say loyalty is what is desired in a person hmm. yeah that's true 23 obey the Lord and you will live a long life <laughs> content and safe from harm get that that's real simple huh? see why I like that just because <laughs> some people are too lazy to put food in their own mouths right yeah all the, all the old ones that said I remember reading them the lazy one buries his hand in the dish but will not even bring it back to his mouth can you imagine being that lazy? Arrogance should be punished so that people who do not know any better can learn the lesson. If you are wise, you will learn when you are corrected. Strike a scoffer and the naive may become clever. Now a scoffer or arrogance is somebody who willfully does something. Can we look that up? We can do that. Arrogance. The quality of being arrogant, that doesn't do any good, does it? <laughs> Arrogance is a defense mechanism and having people having this trait are a serious threat to the organization team as they feel insecure. They can easily they can be easily judged by their body language. <laughs> Weird. Now if you look up scoffer I think it is a little clearer as what that means yeah. speak to someone or, or about something in a scornfully derisive or mocking way okay. so yeah 25 arrogance should be punished so that people who don't know any better can learn a lesson 26. Only a shameful, disgraceful person would mistreat his father or turn his mother away from his home. Got that? Shameful, disgraceful person. It says that. Shameful, disgraceful. Yeah. Don't mistreat your parents. If your mom needs a place to stay, yeah. if you turn her away, you're shameful and disgraceful. My child, when you stop learning, you will soon neglect what you already know. Right? You got that? Never stop learning. Never, ever. 28. There's no justice where a witness is determined to hurt someone. <laughs> wow. Wicked people love the taste of evil. <laughs> Rip right out of today's headlines, huh? There is no justice where a witness is determined to hurt someone. Right? There's an attorney general, a district attorney of the state, who got there only because she wanted to hurt Donald Trump. And he did nothing wrong. And even the people that they accused him of doing wrong to came up and said, no, we love him. We want more of his business. He's the best customer we ever had. She didn't care. Shameful. Since she was determined to hurt someone, right? And there is no justice when you charge somebody money for doing a good job and being a faithful, loyal person with high integrity and morals. Right? Some people just hate you because wicked people love the taste of evil. Hmm? And 29, a conceited fool is sure to get a beating. Right? Judgments are prepared for scoffers and beatings for the backs of fools. So, there you have it. That's 19. And we highlighted some stuff in here. We should have highlighted this one just because. Just because, right? It is better to be poor but honest than to be a lying fool. Right? We highlighted too. Enthusiasm without knowledge is not good. Impatience will get you into trouble. Right? 
It's like they said, many advisors. Always ask for advice from smart people. Mm -hmm. You know. And there's enough stuff on YouTube if you want to do something, you know. Find out how not to do it. <clears throat> Curb your enthusiasm. Remember that? I highlighted three. Some people ruin themselves by their own stupid actions and then blame the Lord. Yeah, they do. They do. Yeah. I highlighted five, which goes along with nine. Okay. If you tell lies in court, you will be punished. There will be no escape. And nine says, no one who tells lies in court in court can escape punishment. He is doomed. Yep, that. Yeah. These people that seem like they're winning now, there's no escape, and they are doomed. It says it right there. Hmm? I highlighted eight. Do yourself a favor and learn all you can. Then remember what you learn, and you will prosper. Right? That's why we're doing this over and over again. This is the sixth time we go through. We've gone through Proverbs of 24. And, and my goal is to do it 24 times. And most of this stuff you should should just be ingrained in you by that time. Okay, you should be able to, you know, learn all we can and remember what we learned, and then we will prosper. Okay. Highlight at 11, if you're sensible, you will control your temper. When someone wrongs you, it is a great virtue to ignore it. Just overlook stuff, okay? I can't believe how many people argue on the internet with somebody they don't even know. When they could just keep scrolling, you know? Just, that's my mantra when I'm on the internet. Just keep scrolling. Okay? Ignore it. It's a great virtue to ignore it. Hmm? The king. Okay, we highlighted seventeen. When you give to the poor, it's like lending to the Lord, and the Lord will pay you back. Okay? This is a a key verse. Okay, give to the poor, and you're lending to God, and God will always, God always pays you back. Okay, He does with interest every time because He likes you giving to the poor. If you give to the poor, He's going to give you more to give to the poor. You won't be lacking anything. Hmm? Very important. And 18 is equally important. Discipline your children while they are young enough to learn. If you don't, you're helping them destroy themselves. Or killing them. Okay? you got to catch them young. Okay? If you listen to advice and are willing to learn, one day you'll be wise. That's what we're going for. Highlighted 20. Highlighted part of 21. The Lord's will is going to be done. <laughs> Make all the plans you want, but the Lord's will is going to be done. <laughs> that. We highlighted 23. Obey the Lord and you'll live a long life. <laughs> it seems simple, huh? Content and safe from harm. And we highlighted 28. There is no justice where a witness is determined to hurt someone. Wicked people love the taste of evil. I oh, we did talk about that. Okay. With an excellent example. So, there you go. That's Proverbs 19. Or, there we go. For today. The 19th of February in our never-ending quest to learn everything we can from Proverbs. So, that's that. Um, come back later and we will cover our Through the Bible in One Year. We're still in Leviticus. We're still learning what to do and what not to do and God's giving them all the laws and, you know, probably getting ready to take them into Canaan, into the land that he's going to give them after he gets all the bad people out. So, but that's Proverbs for today. Remember, be humble, right? Be honest. Don't tell lies. Learn all you can, okay? Go on over these. If you're sensible, you'll control your temper. Please, Lord, help with that. Ignore things when people are wrong you. Ignore it. Just keep scrolling. Give to the poor. Discipline your kids. 
you know, listen to advice. Hmm? Obey the Lord and you live a long life. So, there you have it. Till next time, keep reading. Stay humble. See ya.